Hi, it's Tara here from CamelConnection.com and in today's video we're talking about the camel's body language. Reading the body language of camels can be a bit of a challenge as camels can seem a bit aloof in their nature. Camels don't show obvious signs of dislike as a horse would. For instance, camels don't put their ears back before defending themselves. For a person who is new to camels, not being able to read a camel's body language can be intimidating. But the good news is that any individual can learn to read a camel's body language. And that is what we'll be sharing with you today. Let's go through the six most common body language movements in a camel. We'll be talking about their eyes, their ears, the camel's mouth, the camel's body, the tail, their noises, and their cud chewing. First, let's look at the camel's eyes. A camel's eyes can be one of the most easiest body language signs to translate into whether a camel is feeling relaxed or feeling threatened. Even though a camel's size can seem intimidating, camels are actually very timid creatures by nature. They have a great awareness and ability to feel fear. And looking at the camel's eyes in a non-threatening way is one of the most trusted signs on whether a camel is feeling relaxed or not. When the camel's eyes, eyes are bulging, seeming more wide than usual, then it's likely they are feeling fear and threatened. In this case, they might be quick to defend themselves. A camel's ears. There's not much movement when it comes to a camel's ears. They generally don't use their ears as a warning like horses do, but we have noticed that there are there are some simple ways to allow the camel to trust you through touching behind the ear. As you do, this ear might wiggle, indicating that they are becoming relaxed with you. In other words, becoming desensitized with your presence. We do this with all of our camels, no matter how experienced they are with humans. This simple technique has never failed us in helping the camel feel more comfortable being around us or anyone new in their experience. A camel's mouth internally is a very complex thing. Camels are able to eat prickly plants you'd never consider to touch, yet they will happily munch away with a look of contentment on their faces. But when it comes to the, the camel's mouth and the signs it can show you when being around camels, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. All camels can and will bite if they feel they are being threatened or have not been taught proper boundaries. Most camels will not use their mouth, biting, as a first line of defense. There are always other signs before biting takes place. It's the human handler's job to read the body language of the camel. So if a camel bites you, it's on you. Another important role the mouth plays in body language is that the camel's nose can tell you how the camel is feeling. In a nervous camel, you'll see the camel tighten his nose so it becomes pointy and it protrudes from its normal look. This can also happen if a camel is feeling a bit frisky and a good indicator to get out of the way of a running camel. This can also be a sign that a camel is not feeling well. Cud chewing. One of the second most easiest signs to read whether a camel is relaxed or not is the chewing of their cud. Many people get confused on why camels chew all the time. Firstly, camels are ruminants, meaning they chew and swallow their, their food once, then they regurgitate it and chew it again. Cud chewing is one of the most obvious signs that a camel is feeling relaxed, but some camels will chew their cud even when they are nervous. Often the nervous chewing is a lot faster than the normal graceful chewing, so it's easy to tell the difference. Obviously, it's known worldwide that camels can spit, but technically they are not spitting as it's not saliva coming out of their mouth. Instead, they are literally throwing up their food, aka their cud, from involuntary muscle contractions in their stomach from their feeling of nervousness or fear. In all our experience with camels, they, a camel won't cut on you unless you're failed to read the warning signs beforehand. 
Now, what about the whole body signs of the camel? Some camels can tend to be pushy and push on other handlers or owners. What does, this, what does this mean in camel language? It could mean several things depending on the camel's history, but let's look at the basics. In a herd setting, camels will push on each other to show their assertion to other members in their herd. It's totally fine for a camel to push on another camel, given that they are in fact camels and their body mass body weight mass is much more than a human, but a camel pushing on a human is a big risk of the camel unintentionally hurting you. If a camel is pushing on you, it's com- it's commonly a sign that you need to set clearer boundaries. Taking your camel through a gentle and trusting training process like our Camel Connection Trust-Based Camel Training would serve you and them very well in the future. Now, a camel's tail. Did you know that camels wag their tails when they are happy and content? Yes, this is a real thing, but just because a camel is wagging its tail, it doesn't mean that they are content. Obviously, camels use their tails to keep bugs off, and some camels, especially bull camels, flick their tail. This tail flick can also be seen in camels that are annoyed and in camels presenting their dominance amongst many other things. Lastly, let's talk about camel noises. Camel noises are similar to human speech in a way that everyone speaks in different pitches and tones depending on their personality. The reason a camel will make growling sounds, which is their talking, could be them calling out to other herd members or animals, other animals they are housed with. A camel might not like being handled, but it's too afraid to lash out, so they use their voice instead. A camel that is worried or in fear will also growl. A camel calling out to their owner or handler, especially at feed time, is also an obvious sign. Camel noises vary with the different personalities of camels. One camel growl could mean something entirely different to another camel. The importance here is that you continue to learn more about your camel and its personality. Camels are as unique in their personalities just as humans are, but the important thing to remember is that they love consistency and routine. So having a rock solid training and handling foundation practice that is built upon trust rather than fear and friendship rather than dominance is paramount to the success you have with any camel you come in contact with in the future. Are you a new camel owner or are you considering owning camels? Look no further for an alternative gentle camel training method. Forget all the heavy-handed and dominance-based camel training styles. We'll show you another way. Get camel confident with your camel training and handling skills. Get our free camel training ebooks and videos over at camelconnection.com.